And Governor Walker is giving no indication on which way he's leaning when it comes to the controversial Kenosha Casino. The governor is questioning whether he even has the legal standing to make a decision. Our Tom Murray caught up with the governor this afternoon in Milwaukee. Tom? Yeah, Charles, we spoke with the governor after an event here at the Wisconsin Center. He's using phrases like it's complicated to describe this decision he has to make on the proposed controversial Kenosha Casino. A lot of unanswered questions. It's a tribal gaming showdown between the established Potawatomi and the aspiring Menominee. And Governor Walker will decide which tribe gets their way. Is that it's complicated by the compacts that Jim Doyle put in the place. If you lose money at a casino, you're out of luck. If the Potawatomi Casino loses money to the proposed Kenosha Hard Rock, state compacts mandate they get their money back. The Potawatomi estimate that could be $100 million a year. The Menominee insist they will pay. That's something that the Menominee have underscored repeatedly with the governor, that if there is a verifiable loss of income due to Kenosha for either tribe, the Menominee will take care of it. But the Potawatomi contend taxpayers would be on the hook if the Menominee cannot or do not pay. In a statement, the Potawatomi say the tribe continues to oppose this project and believes Governor Walker will ultimately find that this project is not in the best interest of Wisconsin. The governor says he's not sure he can legally commit to the state making those payments for years in the future. This decision isn't just as simple as what I think is right or wrong. Now, the governor has until mid-February to make a decision on the Kenosha Casino, and it sure looks now like this could go all the way up to that deadline. Live tonight in downtown Milwaukee, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Tom, thanks. The